at its heart, this is a way of getting free cooling. It's entirely passive. You don't need to put in any energy inputs. You don't need to put in any water. So radiative cooling is a completely natural phenomenon that happens all the time. You can't really see it, um, but it's happening naturally all the time. Now, where does that heat radiate out to? Well, it radiates out to space, uh, but that's not perfect, right? There is an atmosphere that exists between us and space. The radiative cooling is really about the part of the heat that's sent out from the Earth's surface that is not trapped by the atmosphere. So it's everything that's not trapped by the greenhouse effect. deployed pilots uh, with multiple you know stores and supermarkets where these panels augment the existing refrigeration system and the, you know the initial efficiency gains are around 10 to 20 percent uh, which can seem kind of small but in this industry it's actually huge I think eventually the vision is we want to hook this up to every cooling system on earth. And so those systems run throughout the day, throughout the year. They're big consumers of electricity, like a, a given supermarket, you know, could spend a hundred thousand a year just on electricity costs for their refrigeration systems. So there's a financial incentive to make those more efficient. And there's also obviously a sustainability angle as well. basically enabled this cooling effect that happens naturally at night to happen now during the day as well, using some scientific and technological advancements. That is kind of the core component of the technology. Uh, we can then use it a variety of different ways, but the, the key thing it enables is basically a surface that will stay cold uh, throughout the day by being outside. And So, you know, it is kind of a longer cycle. Uh, so even within 10 years, I think, you know, I wouldn't expect this to be everywhere, but I would say that for us, you know, if we can be on five to 10% of global systems, you know, thinking big picture, global big systems, that would be, A, that would already be an enormous business opportunity and B, like, I think the impact would already be substantial at that kind of scale.